Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to numb this up a little bit for you. So we're going to take this out. What do you think? Does that sound good? Yes. All right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to spray a little cold spray on there to numb it up, give it a little chill, and then I'm going to give you an injection. Here we go. What's it going to feel, Gumby? Sticks thing going to burn. You feeling it? Feeling what? Anything. Stick sting, burn. Mm, no. Do you feel any medicine go in there? A little bit right there, maybe? Yeah, I feel. You feel a little something there? Yeah. A little bit. A little sting? A little bee sting? Yes. A little more over here? Okay, and a little bit more over here is what I'm going to do. And we have more pain medicine in case we need it. I don't think we're going to need it because this is very, very, very shallow or very superficial. So we're going to stop here for a moment. We're going to let the anesthesia kind of work its way into that area, and then we'll be back. All right, let's make our incision here. So we injected uh, some 1% lidocaine. With epi. With epi. Buffered. Buffered. Very good. Probably why it didn't sting that much. Set that aside. Forceps, please. Very good. Look at the gold tipped forceps. Yeah. So, Josie, let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Something I've been wanting to know for a while. How uh, how are the pussycats doing? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Josie. I don't know. <laughs> There's our little cyst right there, Mom. Ooh, oh, my. Have. You know what you have? That's an epidermoid cyst. It sure is. Okay. That was the well, for culture. I don't need to send that send out. I know exactly what. I thought we were going to send it to pathology. Oh, yay. I expected you had a fibroma, but you do not. You have, a, uh, you have an epidermoid cyst. Surprise. This is a very common kind of skin cyst. Oh, great. Yeah. Save yeah, we're going to save you. <laughs> we can definitely save you some money. Absolutely. I'm going to push on you a little bit harder. We're going to grab the bottom of this cyst, my friend. And we're going to pull that on out of there. Do you need a hemostat? Um, yes, I am going to need the hemostat. It's coming right out. What a great little cyst. Hmm. This is more fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> You're a great guy, Josie. Bring me an awesome cyst this afternoon. <laughs> We're going to get all of that out. We have to get all the sack out here to make sure that this does not come back at all. Yeah. Yeah. We are definitely going to do it. I hear Jenny. Are you feeling any pain, my friend? No, sir. I thought we were going to go on a fishing expedition to get a nodule out. And this is why it's important to take your time and dissect these because cyst wall can sometimes be deeper. And if we don't get it out, if we leave any of it, then it right unfortunately will come back. Well, it won't come back right away, and that's why doctors don't do them right. It'll come back in five years or something. Yeah. So there's the sac. Oh, yeah. yeah. So is this the same sort of cause that would be from a trauma, or is it no. different? Okay. No, this is just, this is not, it has really nothing at all to do with the sit, with, with the knee, okay? okay. okay. It has everything to do with the skin, and this okay. is just a real common kind of uh, epidermoid cyst where that's more for our entertainment than anything else. That's not true. We like to clean things up. Right? <laughs> you got the scissors? Yep. All right. It's hard to do when you don't want to block the camera. Oh, you were blocking. Am I blocking it? Mm -hmm. Thing. All right, give me a little cut, please, ma'am. little we'll cut right there. Good. So we're going to put a little dressing over this for you. Okay. You did really well. I'm pleased with that. 
I think we're done now. Hey, we really appreciate you uh, allowing us to video your procedure for all our friends. No problem. So I'm gonna step out. We're gonna let Gumby Jean kind of uh, clean this up and put a dressing on it for you, okay? So a few people have asked me about Meta7. Is it really made in the United States? Well, dang right it is. And most supplements are not made in the USA. This was formulated by Dr. Gilmore. You know him from Texas. You've been watching his channel. You're a subscriber. Then it was put together in Georgia on a facility in the United States that's GMP certified. You want to look for that. Um, there's a lot of supplements out there that are coming in from China and they're trash. They're not good. They don't deliver what they promise. The percentages aren't what they say on the bottle. This is the real stuff and you're getting high quality stuff made in the USA. It's checked, certified, and tested. Everything is exactly what, it, what it's supposed to be. So again, formulated by Dr. Gilmore to give you seven quality ingredients that'll boost your metabolism, make you feel better. You won't have that drowsy feeling in the afternoon. You won't have the jitters of caffeine. And made in the USA, vegan, non-GMO, GMP certified. It's good for you. Go ahead and order today. But yeah, it's the real stuff, folks. And the ingredients are top level.